Here, we'll show a design to utilize a small HEPA filter and a 3D printed adapter cassette with a reusable and commercially available mask. With the filter, 3D filament, and other components, the final cassette cost comes to approximately $3 each. The dwindling supply of N95 masks has led some healthcare providers to search for creative solutions for personal respiratory protection. One emerging idea is to purchase a reusable commercial respirator. However, the cost and availability of replacement filters makes use of these masks impractical. Small HEPA filters are inexpensive and high availability and have a filter efficiency comparable to N95 masks. PPE, for use in the medical field, is extensively tested and FDA approved. Any non-FDA approved PPE should be used only in emergency situations when no FDA approved device is available. The information provided here should be considered educational in nature and not medical advice. Here is a mock-up of our model in a CAD program. Now we'll place it in our slicer software and add some supports for 3D printing. And then we'll transfer it over to the printer. Now that we have a completed print, we'll proceed with assembly. First, we'll remove the supports from the print. The cassette is designed to lock the filter tightly in place. The gasket on the rear of the filter will form a tight seal when pushed into place with the cover component. Because additive 3D printed parts are not as smooth as injected molded parts, we will be adding a layer of silicon sealant to supplement the seal produced by the lower gasket and ensure a strong seal. Next, we'll add non-toxic fast drying adhesive to hold the cassette tightly together. Now we clamp and allow time to dry. Now that we have a completed product, we'll do some basic testing to ensure that we're not fooling ourselves with the effectiveness of this design. First, we'll do a limited leak test with stannic chloride to test for any gross leak. The mask passes without any major issue. Second, we'll attempt a more quantitative test with particle size analysis. For this test, I'll use a particle counter capable of detecting 0.3 micron particles, an empty filter cassette, a completed filter cassette, and two 3D printed testing parts. Here's the testing setup, the particle counter, an adapter, the filter cassette, a fan to push air into the filter, and a small container to spray an aerosol. We'll start with a baseline reading. As you can see, the testing environment has a baseline of 3100 0.3 micron size particles per liter. For the first test, we'll spray an aerosol and test for passage of particles through the empty cassette. The result is a spike of 0.3 micron size particles to 5.9 million per liter. Next, we'll perform an analysis with the completed filter cassette. The result is a spike of 0.3 micron sized particles to 125,000 per liter. From these results, we can see that the aerosol's baseline particle concentration detected by the particle counter with no filter in place was 5.9 million. The aerosol's particle concentration detected by the particle counter with the filter in place was 125,000. The ratio between the two results reflects the filter's effectiveness at removing 0.3 micron sized particles from the air. That number in this case comes to about 98%. Based on these numbers, the filter cassette removed 98% of 0.3 micron sized particles from the air, which is comparable to 95% removal by CDC recommended N95 masks. 
So within the confines of this test, the difference in particles between an empty filter cassette and a finished product is 98%. Although I will still rely on FDA approved PPE, this data at the very least shows that as an emergency backup, this filter could have some usefulness. In order to reduce the number of required filters, we designed and 3D printed a cap to cover one side of the mask so that only one inlet is used at a time. Finally, we addressed a common concern surrounding the safety of 3D printed plastics themselves. Although the polymers used in 3D printing are non-toxic, it is unknown at this time if the 3D manufacturing process itself poses a threat to health. To add an additional barrier between the plastic cassette and user, we designed a small insert that will wedge a piece of surgical mask material into the breathing inlet, reducing the risk of theoretical microplastic inhalation. With this piece in place, it will be necessary for most users to return to using two filter cassettes as the work of breathing through one cassette is higher with the extra filter material. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.